Welcome to the Enotech webinar for the Comtech in situ O2 COE analyzer. In this webinar, I will explain the advantages of measuring oxygen and combustible simultaneously and directly in situ after a combustion process. I do recommend watching the Oxitech O2 analyzer webinar before watching this webinar, as I will skip through many details which directly relate to the O2 measurement. Previously in the Oxitec webinar, I discussed some combustion basics, such as the composition of dry air and the requirements for combustion. I spoke about lambda, which is the ratio of air to fuel in a combustion process. I discussed the theoretical interdependency of O2 and unburnt fuel after combustion, and then the interdependency in reality. Already in this graph, one can see the importance of measuring COE in addition to O2, showing efficient process values depending on the load and application. I spoke of the consequences of combustion with the deficiency of O2 and the resulting mechanical destruction of the plant infrastructure. This is where the Comtech O2 COE analyzer shows its strengths. So what is Comtech 6000? Comtech is an O2 COE analyzer which measures oxygen and combustible components such as CO, H2 and hydrocarbons in situ, directly in the process. The system consists of an in situ probe connected to a controller. The probe is flanged gas tight onto a duct or process wall. The sensors are installed directly in the process and measure the true net concentration of the gas components, not a diluted or dried sample. Oxygen is measured with the highly robust zirconia sensor. Combustible components are measured by Enotech's mixed potential sensor or MXP sensor. So why does Enotech measure in situ? What are the benefits? Most manufacturers on the world market produce O2 COE analyzers, which measure close coupled, sometimes referred to as quasi in situ. These analyzers have sensors installed in the terminal box of the probe outside of the process and need to control the pressure, temperature and contaminants within the terminal box. The sample gas is sucked from the process to the sensors, usually with an aspirator. The filters will block in dusty applications as the suction forces particulate into the filter pores. The probe requires blowback systems to clear blockages. Acid condensation can take place. Sample gas pipes block, especially when gas components such as sulfur are present in the flue. This leads to a low sample gas flow or blockages in the sample gas pipes. The contact sensors are directly in the process and the gas exchange takes place through the large diffusion filters. No extraction is required, no dew point condensation takes place, no filter blockages occur. These simple principles make the Comtech system a low maintenance system. This is a sectional view of the Comtech filter head. Here the COE sensor and the O2 sensor can be seen directly behind the diffusion filter. This video shows a Comtech sensor verification taking place. Firstly, one can see the filter head filled with process gas surrounding the sensors. The measured values can be seen. Test gas is applied directly from the controller, which includes a full pneumatic system. Test gas displaces the process gas very quickly. The test gas bottle values are reached. The measured values are proven to be true. The test gas is switched off and the process gas is once again measured. 
The relationship between excess O2 after combustion and combustibles in the flue gas can be clearly seen. The following trends are from a black coal-fired power plant in a 600 megawatt unit. The installation point is after the economizer, before the air preheater. The pink trend is the Comtech O2 measurement. The blue trend is the Comtech COE measurement. The red and green trends are CO measurements at the stack for emissions monitoring. First of all, the interdependency between the excess O2 and COE values can be clearly seen. As soon as the O2 concentration drops, an increase in COE can be measured and vice versa. The Comtech COE measurement trends well with the stack CO measurement. Every Comtech sensor receives a comparative calibration. Several calibration points are determined to reach a higher accuracy. The calibration points are determined by applying certified test gas to the sensor in different concentrations relating to the measuring range. So what are typical installation points for the Comtech system? In this power plant illustration, the first measuring point would be after the economizer, before the air preheater for combustion control. The Comtech analyzer is used to optimize the combustion and reduce harmful emissions. After the electrostatic precipitator, or ESP, the Comtech analyzer is used as a shutoff switch for safety monitoring and explosion protection. Generally, Comtech can be used in many combustion applications for process control or as a safety measurement. Please contact Enotech for more information. Comtech is available for high temperature applications as well as for gas ATEX applications such as in petrochemical plants and dust ATEX applications such as coal mills or sludge dryers. In addition, Comtech 6000 is certified to seal 2 in a 1 out of 1 selection. That's it for this Comtech webinar. Thank you for your attention.